police continue to investigate last night's standoff in Cathedral City where a stash of weapons was found in a suspect's home. We have the latest tonight in a live report. And election day is just 47 days away, but tonight major concerns over voting machines. Can they be hacked into and your vote changed? We'll show you why some say yes. It's a story you'll see only here on News Channel 3. Plus, even with stocks rallying, the nation's financial crisis is making its impact felt all over the world. See how it's affecting some major local projects right here in the Valley. It's 5 o'clock, time for news. Now, from the Desert's News Leader, KESQ News Channel 3 HD, live at 5. Hacking the vote. Computer scientists say they can prove that electronic voting machines used in Riverside County are useless. They even posted online videos showing how they changed the vote. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca is here tonight with a look at how easy election results can be changed. It is a story you'll only see right here on News Channel 3. Nathan. John Elizabeth, electronic voting machines have been used extensively for several years in Riverside County. Local election officials have always said they are the safest and most accurate way to vote. But state officials challenged computer scientists to put the machines to the test. What they discovered is alarming. Along the shores of Santa Barbara, the University of California has been quite busy. A team of computer scientists assemble in their lab. The team successfully hacked the same Sequoia Edge 2 electronic voting machines used in Riverside County. The county put many of these machines into storage after California's Secretary of State decertified most of them. But Riverside County's Board of Supervisors disagreed and continued to express interest in bringing the machines back. The Sequoia Edge 2s are safe. Uh, yes. Not so fast, say the UC Santa Barbara computer scientists. This malicious software that we devised that uh, can be very simply injected into the overall system and reach every single uh, DRE machine. Installing sort of a uh, evil system in these uh, otherwise benign voting machines. To prove the point, they recently posted their hacking exploits on the web for all to see. The attack begins when an attacker is able to put a USB key that contains a Trojan application in the pool of USB keys that are used to initialize the hat system. Inserting a virus into a voting machine is as simple as using a $15 USB flash drive. The computer virus is programmed well enough to effectively hide if it's being detected. After a short wait, the malicious firmware prints voided on the paper tape and displays a summary with candidate X as a choice for United States Senator. The voters say, hey, wait a minute, this is not what I voted for, and decides to recast uh, his or her vote, then we say, hey, maybe somebody is possibly detecting this problem, so we stay quiet for a while, and then we restart doing our shenanigans whenever we think it's the right time. The calming waters of Santa Barbara cannot hide the turmoil these scientists have unleashed upon the confidence in the way we vote. We've got negative comments, too, you know, like, how could these guys do this, you know? Well, I think that the uh, U.S. public needs to be informed about what they're voting on, you know, and whether their votes will be counted or, or, and, and those sort of things. And so, given that we've influenced that, I'm very proud. The Riverside County Registrar's Office says it's fixed all the problems shown in the video, but the scientists say they are still easily able to take down the latest security measures. We'll get into that debate tonight on News Channel 3 at 6. Now, since UC Santa Barbara scientists put the uh, video online, uh, their computers have been overwhelmed by people watching it, so we posted the entire 16-minute video from the scientists on our website, KESQ.com. Mm, really troubling stuff, considering election just less than two months away now. Certainly. We'll have more coming up at 6. Is okay. there any totally safe system, though? There is no totally safe system. There is uh, the paper ballots uh, that are also in place, but uh, there are some uh, issues about whether or not they are counted correctly as well. So it's all a measure of uh, trying to increase the accuracy while also trying to uh, keep the speed going on. Okay, okay. we'll see you tonight Thank at 6 o'clock. Thank you very much, Nathan. Hacking the vote. Computer scientists say that they can prove electronic voting machines used in Riverside County are useless. They even posted online video showing how they changed the vote. News Channel 3's Nathan Bakatai takes a look at how they did that. It's a story you only see right here on News Channel 3. Nathan. Electronic voting machines were used extensively for several years here in Riverside County. Local election officials have always said they are the safest and most accurate way to vote. But computer scientists were challenged by state officials to put the machines to the test. What they discovered is alarming. 
At the computer labs of the University of California, Santa Barbara, a team not only successfully hacked into the same Sequoia Edge 2 electronic voting machines used in Riverside County, they posted the video online, becoming the next big internet hit. This clip demonstrates how in less than 18 seconds, a results cartridge can be removed and replaced by another without disturbing the seal. The video is made a year ago, before California's Secretary of State decertified most of the Sequoia brand voting machines. Concerned people's votes could be changed. After a short wait, the malicious firmware prints voided on the paper tape and displays a summary with candidate X as a choice for United States Senator. Riverside County supervisors keep expressing interest in bringing the voting machines back. County election officials say they fixed the problems relying on computer logic and accuracy tests. I will refer to the Secretary of State's statement on that, wherein, she, in fact, she dismisses that video as simply putting pictures to the report that's already on her website without the security conditions in place that she has mandated for all counties using that system, which averts any of those hacking attempts. But the UC Santa Barbara team say the registrar security measures are no match for them. Uh, I can say that the uh, logic and accuracy testing is exactly the type of test that our malicious firmware is able to detect and uh, completely bypass. Inserting a virus into a voting machine is as simple as using a $15 USB flash drive. County election officials want voters to believe in the systems. The Sequoia Edge 2s are safe. Uh, yes. But this team made the controversial step of putting the voting system's vulnerabilities online for people to decide on their own. After going through this experience, it's, it's hard to trust one of these machines, to be quite honest. The Riverside County Registrar's Office will undergo an outside audit after a report from a watchdog group revealed this week that there were paper ballots that went missing in recent elections. County election officials still say the system is accurate for the November vote and they welcome the audit. Since the UC Santa Barbara uh, folks uh, put the uh, video online, their computers have been overwhelmed, uh, so we've posted the 16-minute uh, video on our website, KESQ.com. All right, quite an eye-opener. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Okay, thank you, Nathan. Thank you.